Hey y'all, so I have another huge empties video. I was supposed to do like a part two from my last empties video because I had so much crap, but time slipped away, I didn't get to it, and now not only do I have the stuff left over, but I've added to my pile. So, we got a lot. I'm gonna try to be fast. Um, if you don't know what an empties video is, basically we're gonna go through my trash, and I'm gonna show you all the products I've used up and if I would repurchase it. So, first things first, you see in every single one of these, it is an Epsom salt soaking salt. Uh, but this one is the Target brand and it is the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. Love it. Of course, I repurchase it. You see it in every video. Then we have these. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin for Acne blemish clearing wipes and it's basically a wipe with salicylic acid i don't think i would repurchase these um they dried out really quickly and i didn't really see a difference so mm, no hair skin and nail gummies wait hold on yes i raved about these you guys uh i never really thought these type of things worked for your hair skin and nails lies they work amazingly this brand is the bomb.com it's nature's bounty and it's with 2500 mcg per serving of biotin hair and skin nutrients amazing then we have the awapui paul mitchell wild ginger hydro cream whip you guys I don't, do they even make this stuff anymore? This was so old. I cleaned out underneath my uh, sink. I, I, where do I start with this? I got this so long ago, I can't even tell you, but I love the smell, but the product itself, I was never really all that impressed. So, no, gotta go. Then we have an Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Yes, love it, I would repurchase it. Then we have a face wash. This is the Egg White Pore Foam by Skin Food uh, Face Wash. Highly recommend this stuff. Love it. Use it every day. Yes, get you some. This is the Project Beauty Hair Gurt Strawberry Banana Smoothing Yogurt Hair Mask. This was good stuff. This has uh, prebiotics, quinoa, Super Botanicals for Beautiful Hair, Sulfate and Paraben Free. This was actually really, really good. Um, I also got the shampoo and conditioner. I got this and all the other ones that I got in, I want to say BoxyCharm or FabFitFun or, uh, anyways, it's good. Then we have an Alba Botanica Very Emollient Shave Cream, Cream Shave, whatever, in Aloe Mint. Love this stuff. This is amazing. Highly recommend this to shave yourself. Then we have a Summer's Eve Lavender Nighttime Cleansing Wash. Don't freak out because it's Summer's Eve, okay? Summer's Eve makes other things besides what you're thinking of, and one of them is body wash. And I happen to love the lavender one. They also have a lavender like bar soap. Oh, I love anything lavender. This stuff is amazing. It's pH balanced. Uh, dermatologist and gynecologist tested. Then we have a Pixie Glow Tonic to Go Exfoliating Toner Pads. Y'all are never going to believe this, but I haven't repurchased these and I don't miss them. Oh, yes, I said it. I thought I could never live without these things, but I am. And I mean, yes, they are amazing. Don't get me wrong. They are truly amazing. But I don't know. I just, mm, eh. Another cream shave. This is the Mango Vanilla. I think I like the Cool Mint other. I just like mint smelling things, but yes, love that. Then we have a Jergens Natural Glow Plus Firming Daily, Mo Daily Moisturizer. Um, yes, this stuff is good. If you want to get a little color and by little i mean very little color but i like it then we have the american cream hair conditioner by lush this was good 
I would repurchase it. Probably the only reason I haven't is because I don't have a Lush near me and I don't want to pay shipping and handling. I'm a cheap watt. What can I say? But this was really good conditioner. Ah, another uh, Lush product was the Jersey Bounce Shampoo. This shampoo is amazing. I highly recommend this shampoo. Um, it's got like sea salt in it. I love this. It really does give your hair volume. But again, I just can't bring myself to pay the shipping and handling. Maybe next time, I think the closest one is like two hours away. Um, my mom and I are planning a trip probably later this year. I probably will pick it up while I'm there. Then the Neutrogena Deep Clean Normal to Oily Skin. This has been a holy grail face wash for a long, long time. I would repurchase this. I kind of have moved on from this as well, but this is an amazing face wash. Then we have a Clinical Strength Clear Gel with Olay Beauty uh, Deodorant. Again, super amazing deodorant. I highly recommend this if you are a stinky girl. This is amazing. However, I'm trying to stay away from deodorants with aluminum in them. So if that doesn't bother you, go get this. Um, if that bothers you, then don't. Okay, then we have, okay, I got these as a sample. This is a Goldwell Carousel Color Shampoo and Little um, Luster Mask. I don't really remember it, so that tells me it probably wasn't that good. Okay, then we have a Cure Cell Stimulating Facial Mask. This is the Argan Stem Cell Plus Chlorella Growth Factor. Um, I think this was okay, but I didn't really see enough of a difference to buy it again. Like, it wasn't really life-changing. Then we have a few mascaras. Oh! <gasps> Holy grail, y'all, I have so many of these on backup that it's ridiculous. These are both by Essence. This is the Lash Princess and the I Heart Extreme. These two together, mind-blowing. Favorite mascaras of life. Then we have a powder. This is the Wet n Wild, ooh, um, little setting powder. This is the Take on the Day Mattifying Powder. Y'all, this is good stuff, and I have repurchased it since then. I think it's only like $3. Okay, then we have the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Kind of should use this now, but yes, love this. I have repurchased it. Um, it's really the only thing I've found that truly removes my cuticles. Then we have a Pixie Skin Treats Rose Oil Blend Nourishing Face Oil. Love this stuff. I have repurchased it. It's just a great uh, everyday facial oil. Then what else do we have in here? Ugh. A nail polish that's turned on me. This is the NCLA Nudes Nail Polish. I mean, it's clear why I threw this away, but um, this was a pretty color. And I think from what I remember, I actually really like this, but time to go. Okay, then we have uh, the Body Shop Shea Hand Cream uh, with Community Fair Trade Shea Butter. I don't think I'd repurchase this again. I wasn't really that impressed with this. Um, I got it because of the size to go in my purse, but it didn't really moisturize that well. Then we have, what is this? Uh, oh, a lipstick. Why did I throw this in here? This is the, um, this is by L'Oreal. This is the Frida's Nude number 350. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I threw that in there. Did I clean out my lipsticks or something? Anyways, clearly I didn't want it anymore, but, um, I don't think I'd repurchase this. Ah, I think that's why the smell started getting to me. It's very chemically. Chemically smelling. Okay, then we have a concealer. This is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. Eh, this is okay. To be honest, the only reason I like this concealer was because it was one of the lightest concealers I could find in the drugstore. 
Um, so it really brightened my under eyes, but that was about all I liked about it. So no, I wouldn't buy that again. Then we have some more mascaras. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. This was good. Um, I used this on my lower lash line. Um, you can see it has like a little tiny uh, wand there. I do like this. Um, however, I do feel like it kind of dried out really quickly. I think it's only like two or three dollars. So I would probably pick this up again, but just for my lower lash line. Then we have another mascara. This is the NYX Doll Eye Mascara. This was a good mascara as well. Um, I swore by this when I got this. However, uh, once I started using that Essence Mascara, that took over this. But this is a good mascara and I would recommend it. Then we have a little perfume. This is the Catherine Melandrino CM Style de Paris perfume. I probably got this in like a boxy charm. Mm, that does smell good, but I don't think it smells good enough to buy it again. Okay. Then we have one of those uh, Benefit Gimme Brow uh, type things. And this was okay. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase this. It was just okay. Then we have a Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Primer. Don't really see the hype about this. I would not purchase this. And you guys, to be honest, I've never really found a lid primer that just takes my breath away and I feel like I have to have. I mean, to me, concealer works just as good as anything. Okay, then we have another mascara. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. Y'all, this is good stuff. I'm not gonna lie. This mascara is amazing. The wand is huge and takes a little getting used to, but this mascara is good stuff. If you like thick, volumizing uh, mascaras, this might be your best friend. All right, then we have, oh, yeah. Then I got this mascara. I think this came in a BoxyCharm or a FabFitFun that Ampla Mascara, Amplifying Mascara Serum. Mm -mm. No, not good. Then we have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. Y'all know this is holy grail to a lot of people. You can see I use the whole thing. This is an amazing drugstore concealer. I highly recommend it. I wouldn't repurchase it um, because I found like the Tarte one um, and my Limelight by Alcone concealer are now my favorites, but I mean, this is a good one from the drugstore. Um, another mascara, the Clinique High Impact Mascara. To be honest, I don't really remember this, which tells me that it didn't really stand out to me and it's not really all that good. Okay, then we have the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Face Toner. This was actually really good. Obviously, I used the whole bottle. This was really good, and I think I looked it up online to repurchase it, but it was a little bit more on the expensive side, so I didn't get it, but I do like this. Oh, one last thing, you guys. Oh, wait, two things. Okay. Um, this is an eyeliner. My camera's getting right overheat. Ah! Okay, so this is the Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pen. Love this stuff, you guys. It's from the drugstore. It's super cheap, and it is amazing eyeliner. Highly recommend that. Then, all-time holy grail uh, brow product. It's the Chella uh, Eyebrow Pencil and Tantalizing Taupe. You can see a little bit of the color left there. It does twist up. I have repurchased this countless times. Love it. Okay, guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this. I finally got through all my empties. Yes! Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and have a great day.